Hi, Waffle Man here. For those who just watched this channel for those Doctor Who reviews, thanks, I appreciate it. That series is ongoing. For those who watch this channel for like other stuff uh, that I used to do more of, uh, sorry I don't do as much of it. I have to make things to earn money now? Namely, I work on two podcasts. One's Big Damn Cast, Big Damn Channel here on YouTube is where we post all of our stuff. Also, I have a podcast called Out the Broom Cupboard, which is about my time on kids TV and speaking to people who make kids TV and trying to describe how you get into the world of kids TV. Long story short, it's awesome and you should totally throw money at me. There is a Patreon, links are down below for both. But since Five Who Fans ended and since my Doctor Who review series has carried on, I've noticed there are people who still want Doctor Who related content from me. I don't really want to make Doctor Who related content outside of the ongoing review, simply because... I love the show, but I don't feel like there's much I can say about it anymore. Like, I want to focus more on doing comedy stuff on YouTube than just talking about Doctor Who. So, it's kind of like a... Apology? Caveat? Compromise. What do you think, Minnie? Do you think compromise is the right word? Probably. A sort of a compromise. Uh... I'm going to upload a little something. A few weeks back, I put my showreel here on YouTube. You might have seen it. If you haven't, please do check it out. I'm proud of work that I have done and edited together. But as part of that, I posted some of a sketch of me as Rudyard Kipling that we filmed for the CBBC show All Over the Place Asia Part 2. And that's not the whole sketch. This video is not monetized. I'm not looking to profit off of this. I'm simply looking to showcase some of my work in a longer form. Um, so no offence is meant to the people of BBC Scotland or Children's BBC, but what you're about to watch is the entire segment from that episode, which starred myself and the amazing Johnny Pitt, who's got a book called Afropean, which is brilliant, and the link is in the description. Go buy it or listen to it on Audible if you've got a free trial. Give it a listen. He's good. He's good. He's a good, he's a good man. We visit a place in India called Shimla, which is this Victorian English style town. Well, do you know what? The segment will explain it. But the reason I'm uploading it is because it's a Doctor Who sketch for the first half. Like, it's me kind of having a stab at the Doctor for a laugh in a children's comedy educational program. As with a lot of things on that show, it's very, very silly and informative. Edutainment. So it's me as the Doctor, a uh, little bit Tennant, a little bit Smith, a little bit Foxy. You thought so too. <laughs> and it's just a really cool sketch, one of many that we made, but I just thought since I was clipping stuff up my show reel, I had that whole piece and I was like, I'm going to upload it. So, hi BBC, hope you don't mind. It's not for profit and I'm in it and you don't show it anymore. So, for those who missed it, here is me and Johnny Pitts for all over the place, Asia, in Shimla. Enjoy. India. Shimla. Doctor. Where else? Victorian England. We're here on a mission of great importance. It's those Daleks again, isn't it? I'm sick of those intergalactic pepper pots. No, it's much more pressing than that, Johnny. It was Captain Jack's birthday yesterday, so we need to go back and get him a cool present. I love that guy. Let the quest begin. You know, I don't recall there being so many 21st century tourists in Victorian England. No, and why are some of the shop signs in Hinde? Are you sure we're in the right place, Doctor? I'll check the Sonic Spoon. Hang on a minute. This isn't England. He's right, you know. <laughs> oh, that took you long enough. No, it's not quite England, but this place was once known as Little England. That's because when the British ruled India, they came here to Shimla to cool down in the hot summer months. It's built up a mountain, so it's a lot cooler than the cities down below. Although, maybe not as cool now our two intrepid time travellers have arrived. The Doctor and Johnny, you had 38 seconds to find out as much as you can about Shimla. The Doctor, you have Sumit, who is an expert on the history of the British Raj. Johnny, you have your Gita, who knows all about Shimla today. Whoever finds out the most facts is the winner. Dean, do, egg, Joe. Gita, is Shimla still capital? Yes, it is the capital of Himachal Pradesh. Why does Shimla look like a Victorian English village? Because of its architecture. How cold can Shimla get in the winter? It can get minus two, minus three. Ooh, I'm cold just thinking about it. When did the British leave? Oh, 1947. But yes, after that, many people uh, decided to stay here. And how high is Shimla? Shimla is more than 2,000 uh, 2, meters. Uh, might be an odd question. Have you seen any Daleks lately? Daleks? No. <laughs> 
There are ghosts, but no aliens. Oh, right. What's that big snow-capped mountain called over there? Charlie to Ah, oh, dear. Out of time. <laughs> Which is odd for me. And the person who found out the most facts is... Uh, Johnny! Yes! He wins a guided tour of Shimla, and the loser has to be his guide. Oh, easy peasy for an intergalactic traveller like me. Come on, then give us a tour around, Dr. Howe. Who? What? Welcome to the Lower Bazaar. This is where the lower ranks of the Victorian Shimla would have been living in the 19th century. Oh, yes, but also a great place to find the captain a present. I mean, look at this. He absolutely loved this. Yes, his wardrobe does need a bit of variety. I swear, he has not washed that coat of his since the Second World War. Yeah, it's starting to pong a bit now. Well, that's our mission accomplished. Should we get back to saving the universe? Well, I think we've earned a little rest first. How about one more stop? Welcome to the moor. This is where the Brits would come to chillax and take a stroll in the cool evening air. Hang on a minute, weren't they supposed to be running the country? True, but they had fun as well. That's why they built an ice rink, a race course, a golf course, and even this theatre. Well, they certainly knew how to enjoy themselves. Oh, we should go and catch a show. Did you know that Rudyard Kipling, author of The Jungle Book, performed when he lived here? No way! You should go back in time and watch it. Now, where did I park the TARDIS? Oh, he's doing it again. My public adore me. <laughs> the reviews are in. Rudyard Kipling, mm -hmm. the actor... Runs in the blood, dear boy. ...is both horrid and vulgar. Oh, please, I'm sure they're just being kind. Whoa, oh, no! Oh, no, I'm a failure! A failure! A big, talentless, terribly handsome failure! Oh, don't be like that, Rudyard. Listen, maybe it's just that acting's not for you. Where? Acting's not for you. But... You know, you've got a pen. Maybe you could try your hand at writing. Yes, I could write something and then act in it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was thinking more you could, you know, write a book uh, set in the jungle about a, a young boy called Mowgli who was raised by wolves and, and comes across an evil tiger named Shere Khan or something. Yes, and I could play Shere Khan, probably with a Scottish accent. I'm Shere Khan, get out the jungle. Oh, how about a poem? If you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs. I can see the film now. Rudyard Kipling is Detective Kipling, a man who kept his head when all about him were losing theirs. No, 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 it's not a film about being a cop. It's a poem about how to be a man. If you can wait and not be tired, by waiting. But I hate waiting! As much as I hate poetry! Look, let's forget this writing nonsense. There's only one way Rudyard Kipling is going to win the Nobel Prize, and that, good sir, is as an act tour. My adoring public, await. Encore! <laughs> we tried. Could have been worse, I suppose. Could have suggested they make exceedingly good cakes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was cool. Being Rudyard Kipling in a theatre he performed in back when he was a rubbish actor man. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Uh, there'll be plenty more bits and pieces coming up. Not only that, check out the Patreon links in the description for my children's TV podcast and my pop culture podcast, which has a channel here on YouTube. I'm out of breath because I had to answer the door during the recording and I just ran back up the stairs. And I'm large...